actually quite a nice day, surprisingly. So it's Wednesday and we are four or five days out depending on how we want to track it. Um, uh, our package from Strength Shop has arrived and that went badly. But yeah, sorted now. So chalk, that's some liquid chalk, wrist wraps, elbow sleeves, and the golden beauty. I'll unpack these now. Cool. Yeah, I'm just really fucking even more. Yeah. Jesus. Ew. So I've just went and picked up this from the gym that Will has thank and nicely made for us. So uh yeah, let's see what it looks like in a bit. Ooh. Okay. Arrow. Good morning, it's that time of the year that we've been waiting for. Bella, it's UK's strongest man, under 23s. How do you feel about that? She don't care. But we made the decision to uh, <laughs> drive down instead of stay at a hotel, so uh, quality. So basically everything sorted. Other than those things, they ain't actually come with us. And then... <laughs> Breakfast! Breakfast! Lovely. That's what he's Once we cross these lines off, we won't be reading them out again, so that's the plan. Over the day's beat. Here we go now. Up we go, to the chest. Up we go. Whoop. He doesn't really set that yet. Let's get it out. Let's go, one more attempt. Over half one at a time, so it's okay. Oh, he's leaving that one. Okay. Jack Lee, Ben Smith. Come on, Jack. Here we go. Nice one, Jack. Up we go now. Let's get it, Jack. Come on. Whoa. Go Jack! Angle, angle. Easy Jack. He just dropped it for myself over there. Watch. Need some more open names, Craig. Need some more open names, please. Come on, Pads. Matthew Money. Member athletes, please be ready to lift. I'm only calling you quickly here. Let's go, buddy. Yeah. Up we go. Come on, Max. Thank you, Manny. Straight up for a good lift. Whoop. Come on, buddy. Come on, it goes from Pat. Come on, Paddy! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's 
in seven flights of 50 points. Frank Valano, sixth place, 54 points. The two times defending champion that is Rob Spence. Top five now. On 56 points. Please give it up for Lee Croker. In fourth place, on 57 points, Jack Osborne. <laughs> Top three now, 57.5, so he wins his place by half a point. Please give it up for Patrick Haynes. On 64 points, please give it up for Harvey Gombos. So ladies and gentlemen, when we put this competition on, this is for the Academy, this is for the future of Strongman. This is why we're doing what we're doing today. So ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the under 23 UK Strongest Man from Ultimate Strongman and going to the UK Strongest Man final is Oli Clown! Oh, the arches. So it's about a week later and yeah, no Mohawk now either. Um, sort of just recapping the comp now so I started off with Max Log which was just not my event at all um, that was awful as you saw um, I failed the opener so didn't actually do anything for a while just watched everybody else do their thing it was pretty cool to watch some of the older people um, from the qualifiers and even in my group um, doing it because uh, I think Aaron Page got a British record and so did Jack Osborne which was sick so obviously event 2 was a 340 kilo yoke for 20 meters just a straight total which is probably the only event that I was going into feeling a little bit perky about because yeah I sort of trained it a little bit more than a lot of the other events pretty happy though because I normally struggle with just above this way about 380 and there's 340 for probably PB times I think it was 17 seconds I got in so yeah it was alright to start off the second event with one of the fastest times. I haven't got the placings on that event yet, but I'm hoping for hoping that I got top five in it at least. It's funny to watch because um, I'm pretty sure I started off the thing like really tight, and like I look like with my head really far forward, and I'm saying like, that just looks really weird. But that's what I got told to do by some of the people I train with. Um, closer stance makes the pick up easier and then you just start driving your feet a lot faster instead of wide pick up and then having to bring your feet in so sort of helped event three was meant to be um conan's wheel but it got changed to shield carry because the weather outside was meant to go bad and they thought it was a bit of an inconvenience for everybody to go outside of the gym just for one event even and even if the weather wasn't bad which end up not being but yeah shield carry i think it was 120 kilos i've, n I've never trained it in my life so it was a bit it's a bit weird so basically during the shield carry um i had a pretty bad pickup uh, and in warm-ups i didn't really um pick up well uh, so i was gonna wear sleeves but i took the sleeves off um just to because they weren't actually gripping it and then when I got like halfway down the runway, it started to slip. So I tried to, I stopped and tried to bring it back up. Then just, yeah, 
just wasn't going. Which is disappointing because I probably, if I uh, got a better pickup, I probably could have gotten one length at least. But yeah, shield carry was t um, just two lengths for time, and obviously if you dropped it, then yeah, you're out. But yeah. Uh, four was the medley as you've seen um, I was properly not looking forward to this to be honest because um, uh, originally it was going to be sandbags and kegs going from 80 to 120 I think and then on the day it just ended up being a 65 keg 100 kilo keg and I'm not sure how much the duck walk is but not very heavy but yeah, so the rules of it were just, um, I think the kegs were just like timed, but then when you got back, you weren't allowed to drop the duck walk or else you had to stop and then they'd measure it. I don't know how they did it on points or anything, but that's just how it was. And the final event was the farmer's hold, which not a fan of. I did it my first ever event. I think it was like 90 kilos a hand in my first event and then obviously I've never really done it after that um, this was 140 in a hand so yeah first time first time ever doing it I think on this weight um, but it's a high pickup which made it a lot easier which I was a lot happy about so yeah I think I've got just over 30 seconds which is all right, I guess, but I probably could. Have, it looks like I um, just put it down, like nice and calmly, but my wrists were really just, don't know. The straps were digging into them, so I was just like, nah, can't. So basically, um, the farmers' holds were allowed straps, which was um, a bit odd, but it's more of a test of will and like who can hold it for the longest other than like testing your actual grip um but yeah like harvey um got like two minutes or i think almost three minutes um he could have got more but um his strap uh broke <laughs> which is insane but yeah as you obviously um saw at the very end of the compar overall I came 14th thankfully um the farmer's hold placement um sort of helped so didn't come last all in all it was a really good day um met job jack and a few other people which was uh, nice to see um everyone else competed quite well everyone put out a good performance yeah big congratulations to ollie for coming first Harvey for coming second and obviously Paddy coming third on his ever first comp. Um, obviously Jack and Job are 16 and 17 which is insane that they're that strong and they're competing at UK's already. So yeah. Big thank yous to Rebel Strength, Raw and Aaron Page for hosting um, and providing equipment as well. There was a lovely gym to visit as well. So. Yeah. Thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe and share if you really want. <laughs>